Okay, maybe my first and only fixing a car video. So this is a 1991 Saab Turbo with about 103,000 miles on it, 900, so very good. Nice machine, all that. I did paint that thing red. But there is, uh, yesterday when I started it up, so I've had this car for about nine months and I've did about 700 miles on it, fixed a lot of sensors and bits and pieces. Runs very, very nicely, feels strong, all that sort of stuff. But yesterday there was some uh, white smoke, but I looked like white smoke. And then one day I ha then half remembered there was a day I started up and I thought I saw water going through it. I had done a compression test on this thing, and there was all 165s pretty much across all four cylinders, close enough, 162, 165. So I just want to see uh, if anything's wrong. So I'm going to start it. I'm going to check all the fluids. I'm going to start it up. You name it. I changed them since I got it. So these plugs have only got 500 miles on them. You know. Uh, or 700 maybe, one of the earliest things I changed just because I could and not that the other plugs look bad but they didn't, they were fine come on the fuck out okay so this one that's good, that's all a good sign okay so I have all four plugs out I haven't seen anything yet, okay I'm going to switch to the endoscope okay I'm going to go into cylinder number one see if I can see anything I see oil on the hole, but does that mean anything? Will this fit in? Ooh, look at that! There's a picture of a Saab. Let's have a look around, see so can I see around? How much? Not sure how much I can see around. There is... Is that a black mark or is that oil? Camera. Okay. Oh, that's a valve, is it? Jesus, okay. There's some valves, I think. Is there any other valves? There's another valve. And some other Oh, is that a bad thing or a good thing? <laughs> I have no idea. That's nothing too exciting in there. So that is, that's the top of, hit the top of the cylinder there. So I'm only seeing a little bit of the stroke of the cylinder. And these are the valves on top, the cylinder wall. So I'm going to twirl it around. This is cylinder one, the cylinder wall. Oh, can I get a 360? There's some like discoloration, but does that look like cracks? I don't think so. Yeah, where is my why is my light shining so badly? Okay, and you can sort of see the the tops of these the valves twirl. Yeah, they look like they could do with a bit of love. What is that there? Is that? Where is that? Is it the top or is it the, yeah, it's the top of the cylinder? Okay, so that Okay, going into cylinder two, just with the straight ahead camera. Let's find this hole. Let's see how far. Go in there, Richard. Okay. Overall, not horrible. There's definitely some discoloration on there. Let me go for full brightness. There's definitely some, whatever that is, going on. They could probably do it a clean. But like, interestingly, did it run dry or what? Okay, so, yeah, there's, like I said, I cannot tell which, which way these alls are. And you're basically having a, there's a lot of cues, the shitty video. Okay, here's some other ones. I should probably logically be able to work out that these two are a certain intake or outlet, but no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, so this it just looks old. But how can I see? So what is the side wall? Is that the side wall? It looks like it's 
scoring up to the valves. Okay, so that is the side wall, so let's go around a bit. Try and stay away from it at the same time. So a lot of scoring in there. The cylinder looks definitely a lot different. This is cylinder two. Let's get away from it. Okay, I think I've done most of a rotation. Rotation. And let's go to the. That must have, must have had water in it, damage in it, fast. Okay, pulling out of cylinder two. Okay, heading into cylinder three. Straight ahead camera. Again, the cylinder head seems to be a long way down. Yep. So we right at the back of the bottom of the stroke. Yeah. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Do I see a crack over there? I think I do see a crack over there. Let's see here. Ooh. Should they be open? That doesn't fucking sound right. That's cylinder number three. Are they stuck open? Or is that right? Okay, well. Okay, let's just look at the walls. Scoring again. Like two. Let's go back the other way. Scoring, scoring, scoring. No cracks, no cracks. Okay, so let's look at the top here again. There are two valves, they look the same as the other valves. I can only go so high and see them, but they're closed, they're closed. And this one's fucking well open. And disgusting. It's an open valve. And a second open valve. That's, that could be okay, I don't know. Okay, going into cylinder number four with the head on camera. Let's see where we are. I'm putting it all the way down. Yeah, it's sort of three quarters away there. So it's down a bit. The exhausts are open. Oh, okay, sorry. The white ones are open. I don't know if they're exhausts. And those other ones are closed. So this is cylinder four. Cylinder one and two, everything was closed. Cylinder three, the petrol, I'd say the power, the fuel was open. And then number four, the exhausts are closed. Okay, let's just have a look at the edge of the cylinders. Yeah, lots of scoring, but go to the other side, waste. Lots of scoring still there for it. Let me just. Just looking at scoring here to see if I see anything scoring. So these are the two open white ones, which calcify could be exhaust. There's a lot. That is weird looking. That shape there. Cylinder number four. That looks like. Is that real? Yeah, that just doesn't. Or is it just dirty? Hard to tell. Okay. Anyway. Let's uh, just go around the cylinder wall again. So this is a bit here. This that would look like something hit it, but that doesn't look bent. So this is cylinder number four. Okay. 